used the vacuum sealer that we bought from Amazon and I said it was pretty awesome but we didn't get a chance to show you. So Jake and I thought that would make a video uh, for you. Won't be YouTube quality and I'm very tired um, so I make a couple mistakes but that's okay who cares it's just for you um, but enjoy um, there will be some pictures at the start with this voiceover where I'm talking and have a look at those will give specifics but I also mention the model and the bags that we use and the cost in the video itself so you can either pause during the photos um, or you can pause the video and look and or rewind and listen again so we hope you enjoy it it was kind of fun making it Jake did an awesome job being um, a production coordinator and a videographer so three cheers for Jake and if you have any questions definitely let us know and before we go Jake wanted to make sure that I told you to make sure that you like subscribe and of course smash that notification button so have a good one let us know if you have any questions we'll talk to you soon bye bye Hey Lane, it's the morning and I think I have a cold. So, but um, Jake and I wanted to make a video for you on our vacuum sealer because you were asking for a demonstration when you were here. So there's the production assistant. When the video camera footage is good, that would be me. And when it's shaking like this, that's probably gonna be Jake, but he does a good job. So we're gonna do that for you. Okay, so here is the vacuum sealer. And Jake, if you wanna stand up, and just kind of hold the camera and sure. yep just hold there good job and i'll tell you about it we ordered it on amazon january 1st 2020. um i don't know why we were ordering stuff on that day but okay happy new year and if we only knew but anyway um it was 40 right now it's 42 dollars and 79 cents on amazon and pretty sure that's what i paid for it so it is a sun slung life s-u-n-g-l-i-f-e um, vacuum sealer and it works pretty good so we don't mind it at all and so if jake keeps holding on maybe maybe you can see that i don't know look good okay good okay so we also for 16 dollars bought 100 big bags so let's see jake can you see them oh there we go Get a good copy of the label. No, not that one, this one. <laughs> good job though. All right. And so you'll notice that this one, we never opened it. So these are 16 cents each roughly. If you do the math, it's easy. It's a hundred, right? For $16. And these are so big and we never used them, but they supposedly work well. But what we have used, and this is our second bag. Just stay here, we don't wanna, don't wanna okay is this one and these ones we use a lot of and they work really well they're the small ones i think these are like seven cents a piece and that's what we're going to use today okay and we're going to break for a second and get ready for what we're going to going to seal okay so here's what we're going to seal today for you elaine hot sausages from one of our favorite brands now this is a mistake because we only order the hot dogs. We've never had the hot sausage, but I'm excited to try them since they came anyway. Because we did a an order from BJ's. Yeah, from BJ's. I don't know if I picked the wrong thing or if they picked up the wrong thing, but either way, um, we got them. So the good thing about having this is, do you do buy in bulk? And while this isn't the best deal, which from BJ's is a pretty good deal. Um, and then you just cut it up and freeze what you don't need. And so that's really good. That's really all it's all about. We do hot dogs, of course, and now, now hot sausages. And we do um, chicken breast, chicken thigh, and ground beef. And we buy that in the larger packages. And then we freeze them. And if you seal it properly, it says it can be good for up to two years. Not in our house. Mommy has high standards, so we have to eat it within one year. Um, but it works very good. So we're going to start putting these into how many are there, Jake? Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. That doesn't make any sense. How many does this say are in here? Anyway, well, if there's 15, we'll put five in. A, it's three pounds. We'll put five in a, in, in a bag. So we'll come back in a second and cut it, Jake. So we put these in three bags. We like to have six hot dogs at a time. That's a pretty normal number, right? And now hot sausages, I guess. So we put six in a bag and we had three left over. And since we're sleepy, uh, 
if we make mistakes, like I should have just left those out or cooked those because we eat those today, but I did put them in a bag, so we'll seal them up anyway. But we put six in a bag, and now we're ready to seal up. Now, the thing is, I always forget how to use this, <laughs> and I remember on the go, right? You have to make sure they seal well, um, and sometimes if you don't do it right, they don't, so you have to do it again. Um, that's just operator error. So I'm going to open this up with these two buttons. Can you pull back a little bit, Jake? Stand up. Maybe there you go. See that? And you open it up. You got to make sure these things are in here, and you'll see this channel. And that channel is where you want to line the bag up with so you get the seal properly. And then I can't remember how to work the buttons to get it right, but I always figure it out. So I'm going to start with the three that we'll eat today because we're not really going to freeze them. And if I mess up, it doesn't matter. But have a good workspace. And what you want to do is line up the bag so that it's kind of... When you fold it down, it it's it it doesn't it can touch a little bit, but it doesn't go over there, and it's going to seal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push down rather hard, and then I'm going to get um, hit the vacuum seal button. And is it not? Oh, I didn't plug it in. Well, first thing you do is you plug it in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Like I said, sleepy. Anyway, here we go. Vacuum seal. I'm going to do, whoop, that's the mode, you have dry, these are dry, moist would be like a soup or something, I don't know why you would do that, and then normal and gentle, I don't know what gentle is, anyway, so um, I think I can just hit, um, see I always forget, if I hit seal, and if you look, put, put it on the hot dog, Do, 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 do. Like I said, I always forget. And now the light went off, and it should be sealed, which you'll see. Oop. Let's see. And there's the seal right there. Can you see that, Jake? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but that's sealed. Now, I'm not excited about how the vacuum pump worked, but usually I do that. There is a pump option. Um, I guess it's for pumping stuff into the bag, but so what we try to do and again your mileage may vary This is not an official YouTube review for you Elaine, but again, we, we try and get them kind of flattish if you can They don't need to be I'm going to put this in again Line it up Push this down And I actually kind of like to hold it while I'm pushing it Hit the seal button. You'll see all the air coming out it should do better than that though. Do, 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 do. And it's sealing and wait for the light to go off over here. And it did. Okay. Now it should be getting, I'm doing something wrong because it should absolutely be getting more sealed than that. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong. But that's still good and freezable. Um, a lot of errors out, but let's see if we can get this one really sealed. I'm doing something wrong. Get it centered. That should be good, right? Oh, I'm doing seal, not vacuum seal. Now watch. Yeah. Jake do that. You can talk, Jake. Yeah, I'm really struggling today to be paying attention. There you yeah. go. Now you see that good seal, right, Jake? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's wrong with me? We're going to open those other ones up and do it right. Yeah. It's been about uh, three months since we've used this because when we hit the China virus, um, <laughs> we actually had enough frozen food well on hand in the freezer. So Dad. we weren't buying a lot of food and then we were just kind of eating as we went. What's up, bud? Um... Do you think we should get a new bag since that one already got sealed? Yeah. Yeah. So, again, there's seal, which we did, which isn't a vacuum seal. And as Jake pointed out, if you have a look, that's more vacuum sealed. That's better. 
that'll freeze better, but that'll definitely last longer. So if you cut Jake, I'll get two new bags. We just wasted two bags because I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, you like Okay, we're back after daddy's mistake. Um, so if you notice on here, there's a seal and there's a vacuum seal. And it's like been a couple months since I've used it. And the reality is, is seal does exactly what it says. It just seals the bag. It doesn't vacuum seal it. I don't know why I was pushing that. Dragging today, dragging so much I won't even ride my motorcycle because it's probably not safe. But anyway, more coffee will be coming my way. And then you have the vacuum seal, which actually sucks the air out and vacuum seals it. You want to vacuum seal it for freezing. That keeps it, um, that keeps it fresher longer. So that's the goal. I think it, it takes it from like one year to two years. It's the vacuum seal that really does the magic. But good job, Jake, for helping me point that out. We put them in new bags, so we effectively wasted about 16 cents because of my mistake. No big deal. Then we're gonna seal these ones. Excuse me, we're gonna vacuum seal them. So I'm gonna hit vacuum seal and Jake, if you watch the button, I mean, watch the hot dogs. And ready, steady, go. And you'll see it pulling the air out, sucking up, getting really tight, and that's a good seal. That's what you wanna hear. And it'll go for a while, and then it'll turn off. That looks good. And now it's heat sealing the bag. And when this light goes off, you know you're ready. And we recommend this. Point right there, can you see it? There you go. When that light goes off, you are good to go. We're waiting, waiting, and it's off. Two buttons on the side, open it up, pull back a little Jake. There you go. And how does that look? That looks good. And you want to make sure we do up here we have a permanent marker we mark the date and what it is and if you're doing a diet um how many for you elaine i guess weight watcher points it is total or however you want to do it but you want to keep track the date is the most important so you can rotate your stock and here's the final one again we're just eating these today give them a try just see if we like the hot sausages but we'll seal them just to seal them all right, so we'll just put these in the fridge for the day. Cook them later. Okay, ready, Jake? Again, I like to push down with my hands and vacuum seal. Look at that, seal them right up. Perfect. It's well worth it. It does keep it fresh and frozen. And um, and again, you should get a freezer because your regular refrigerator probably won't hold enough. You get the value out of being able to store it longer, which means you need more space, but it works out good. As it turns out, it's actually good for <laughs> when you have an emergency pandemic, you have enough food on hand. So there we go. And this one, I guess we just did a, a regular seal one too. So I'm gonna open that up. These are kitchen scissors, so don't worry. But don't film me, I'm gonna put them in the sink. And we're gonna put those in a bag. And I'm gonna get those sealed real well. So I don't mind uh, wasting a bag or two to get it right, because I uh, don't want to end up with bad meat or hot dogs or sausages, right, Jake? Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, and I'll take this moment to say to you, Elaine, don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that notification budget button. Budget. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. And... I also wash my hands frequently when I'm doing this for obvious reasons and double for ki for chicken. So, And since it's just family, I won't wear gloves, but if it was more than family, I would be, wouldn't mind wearing, wearing a food, food service glove. We have those. Ready? And go. There we go. It's alive. All the juices. I don't know if they can see that on camera, Jake, but the juices are squeezing up. 
Yum, yum. Good job, bud. All right. And we're waiting for the vacuum seal. And go away, light. There we go. And we're done. And clean up is easy. I just, uh, this comes out. Um, if it's dirty, I will take it out. If you look up here, this one as well. Um, but if you're pretty clean, you don't get anything on them. Um, but you can't clean that out. So that's it. That's our YouTube video for you, Elaine. That's our very first, uh, what do you call it, Jacob? Product review? Yeah. Yeah, so we recommend it. It's not expensive. You get your money back in, in savings in the meat pretty quickly. So good, good turn on investment. And the bags aren't that expensive. So that's it. We hope it helped you, Lane. Let us know if you have any questions. Say goodbye, Jake. Bye. We love you. See you. Bye.